Good morning, Nina Night. My name is Jet, and welcome to my channel, JITV, Jet in the Valley. I just really wanted to do this one while I could. I lost all my daylight, but it's about the checkers and chess playing again, okay? We don't understand the powers and principalities to the degree of which we maybe of, of one day we will, okay? There are wicked forces that are in Earth, okay? And they're ruling and dominating in Earth. They created all of these systems that we see and that we're functioning from. They have had a plan and they have moved right along with the plan the past 100 years here. And it's so evil that we can't even really comprehend it. Most people are spiritually dead. They are not awake yet. So they have not accepted the knowledge, the truth of the Most High God who came here in the form of Jesus Christ. They don't know why they need saved. They don't know. We don't know anything. We're just born here on earth and we think that something exploded. Now all this stuff is here and we can make the rules up of reality. There's no such thing as truth. There's no such thing as right and wrong. All of it is just made up concepts. Um, people go, go around believing this and their lives are very... Uh, they're driving their lives, their, their minds and bodies will drive them into the ground, okay? So, the chess and checkers. So, how many Disney movies start with the parents being dead? How many, I, I'm going to look up that number. What we see with our eyes, it goes in, doesn't matter if it's real or not, especially if you see it before the age of seven. It goes in and our minds and our bodies, they interpret it as reality. So the most traumatizing thing a child has or could experience, okay, is the death of a child or death of a parent. They are, children know we're dependent on our parents for survival. So thinking that a, a parent died or having that thought put in your mind literally is traumatizing. It's creating trauma, okay? These movies are intentionally creating trauma in your children. And you don't know that that's what's happening because this has been normalized. These, the movie and TV has been normalized. There was, no, re, there was no, no research and anything like that before people have been ticking right along with this technology. 20 years after the technology comes out, right? we will see the, the negative um, effects of the technology. But the crappy thing is, that's 20 years after we've already done it. Well, the in inventors of the technology have had it for 50 years before they bring it to us. The people who um, create this technology, we are about at least I'm just going to say round, even if we're only 20 years behind, we're 40, we're really 40 years behind of what the current level of technology is. It's just us as basic as, uh, as whatever humans they want to call us. We are not worthy of knowing all of their technology and things that they're doing, but they don't care about the negative effects of human because they're actually using it with the intention of getting, of using those negative effects, right? So the chess and checkers things. Since we were children, they have been trying to induce trauma and trauma-based mind control us into doing these different things, okay? When you, even if a child was not sexually assaulted or sexually offended, if you put the idea in their head that they could be or they have been, or whatever, that causes the trauma, just like the, like they actually were assaulted. Okay. These children have these things happen when they're children, and they grow up with their, now they're, they're traumatized, and they are not functioning from love. When you acquire trauma, and your brain goes there, you're now in a fear response. Love is the opposite of fear okay so these people are functioning in the opposite position of of love so now they're they're functioning from fear now 
they knew that if they could traumatize that child when they were little, that they would go up to be, to have sexual, um, misalignment, okay? If, if love, love is the, what we want is love. Humans are created by love, for love, to love. Now, if you're functioning from fear, then everything you're going to be doing is going to be in the opposite of love. So the powers and principalities, they absolutely 100% know this. They absolutely 100% wanted the porn industry. They wanted to encourage little boys and girls to grow up and to get a career in porn. Okay, Porn is the most... Uh, the most, um, the dra the most drastic, um, of the examples that I talk about with real versus fake. Love is the real. Love is the real currency of the nature of reality. So what the powers that be, they want to take your real, they want your love, what makes you a human, they want your soul, and they want to give you fake things like money. Money's not real, but they want you to give all your energy and time to get their fake shit, which is money. The exact same thing is happening in porn, okay? They want to take your real body, your body, and give you money for you ex ex exploiting your body. They want your real body. They want to do whatever they want with your real body, and they want to give you money, for an exchange, okay? It's always fake versus real. It's always anti-love stuff, okay? They take advantage of children who have had extreme amounts of trauma and they bank on them growing up and using them in the porn industries and in prostitution and all these different things that are not based in love, okay? They're not based in love. It's not hard to understand. We, we can understand that, okay? The, the system is creating people to take advantage of and make money off of. That's what I'm trying to say. So they traumatize the, the children doing whatever else. I'm not even going to get into that right now. You traumatize the child. Then later, you know they're messed up and you're going to profit off of them experiencing the trauma and it's so evil and it's so dark that it's so hard that people don't even want to acknowledge it or really understand it but this is the nature of what is happening and it's not an accident literally this is no accident what is happening it was the exact progression of what is happening in earth and I'm so sorry for the people that this has happened to and the solution is to love love and love other people as yourselves. You have to get, you are so totally wrecked and damaged. You have to get the spirit of Jesus Christ. You have to, if you are so wrecked and damaged and hurt and destroyed and torn and broken, the solution is the most high God who came here in the form of Jesus Christ. Bring you a new spirit. You need a new spirit so you can be born Again, you don't have to be stuck with all this stuff. You don't have to be damaged and destroyed and all these things. You can get the new spirit, spirit of Jesus Christ, and know that God loves you. The Most High God loves you. It does not matter what one single freaking human says about you. It matters that the creator of all of reality, who is love, loves you, no matter what. And so we got to start uh, acknowledging the truth. And with that, much love and many thanks. And I love you. Thank you.